Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Powell here again and today another requested video. I have asked you guys on my YouTube channel uh, what would you like to know or what other videos would you like for me to make? There's already 350 videos on my channel so I was wondering what else do you want to know? Thank you for getting back to me guys. One of the requested videos was an updated video for Modus 63100, uh, the new version by Flip Sky. Review after, I think I roughly have about 400 miles on this motors now and the board is in the front of you. This is the bullet. So let me just tell you quickly about my uh, uh, board. Well, um, details are, she's awesome. Well, that's pretty much it. Nah, joking. Well, she's awesome. She's fully custom. So really quickly, 3D services, um, uh, 3D services finality gear drives, one to four ratio, nine inch uh, tramper diamond cut wheels, my favorite, uh, custom made battery, custom made enclosure, custom covered uh, Hyera Pro uh, deck, uh, custom enclosure, so original enclosure uh, for the EC is by 3D services, but I had to raise it a little bit to fit the um, uh, EC in there and all the cables, just give myself a bit more space. Bio X V2 EC uh, 12S uh, 7P uh, 42P uh, uh, Molycell batteries. Uh, what else? Obviously bindings. Well, this thing custom uh, custom dampers or custom barrels uh, on the um, Finality trucks because they're blue, they're a bit softer. I like those um, uh, quite a lot, so they were made for me. Thanks a lot to these services. Custom rear light, it does work on um, Hoyt Park remote, so when you go reverse, and this light is absolutely freakishly bright. Look, I'm in the daylight, I'm in my garden. The weather is too nice to miss it, but you can still see reflection on my hand. This is so cool. So now let me explain to you guys what videos you can already watch to cover all of this. So the custom battery, and by the way, I will leave all these videos on the links in description below. So carbon fiber, real carbon fiber custom battery box, video is available. Uh, carbon fiber, real carbon fiber coating for your deck in about an hour. You can do it in an hour. That video will be in the description below. The 3D services gear drives video will be in the description below. The um, AC box, the motors, so 63100 Flipsky motors, the initial review is already on my channel, take a look guys, 11 months ago I bought these motors and I've done a full review, I've took them apart, I showed you inside and I told you everything about the motors, so almost a year later I still got them, they are on my board and they're doing absolutely fine, what else you can take a look, uh, well, finality, there are a few reviews there. The sound comparison of the Finality drives to other drives. I will leave all the videos in the description below. Have a look guys, there's a lot of things you can take a look. Also, how to build this battery pack that goes into this enclosure. That tutorial is already available and it is. You're right, on the link in the description below. So now let's get to this um, video right here. So, as I said, 63100. Flip Sky motors, okay? They're quite large motors. The ones I've got here on this board, 140 uh, kV. I've bought two sets from Flip Sky, 190 and uh, 140. By the way, not always those numbers are correct. And yes, you are right. I have already made a video how to actually measure the actual kV value of your motors. And I will leave that video in the description below. For instance, the 140 kV claimed motors are actually 136, uh, 136 kV. And you'll see in my video, these, these different motors got tested and you'll see the deviation from the actual stated kV value. Not a big deal, but if you wanna go into depth and measure your motors correctly and know exactly what kV you've got, have a look at the video. I've got these motors for 11 months, almost a year now. I drive my board and you can see she's a bit dirty, uh, I didn't wash it recently, so I wanted to, you know, show you guys how she actually looks like when I, there we go, look at them wheels, nasty. Um, so this board is used, uh, I would say about 50-50, I do enjoy this board, 
on the road you probably think well that's aggressive looking board and she's uh, a mountain board that's correct however she behaves on the road really really well i can hit the speeds of 42 mile an hour yes with this setup and this motors 42 mile an hour is the speed i've got on the racing track there's the video right there and um it's very comfortable off-road yeah this this board can be taken into wet can be ridden in, in the rain obviously you won't submerge it but the rest of it is ready to be submerged if needed uh, battery pack well i would know never recommend uh, submerging the board so as per the motors let's have a quick uh, close-up to the motors to see how they actually look like okay this is after riding it anywhere i want parks off-road uh, dirt mud stuff like that i normally wash the board with a hose so um yeah at the moment it's dirty but so you know how i treat the board obviously i don't abuse it but i don't really keep it on the shelf thinking oh my god it needs to stay there and don't use it no okay so here you go guys 63 100 uh, 140 kv custom logger motors uh, as you can see yes they do have a few dents and few scratches but that's normal the rocks hit them well it does happen but that's how it looks like on this side and this is the other side there we go same thing a few knocks and and nicks here and there a bit of um, uh, oil protrusion from the uh, gear drives but that's normal as well no problem whatsoever let me just wipe this off a bit so this is where we are so while we are up close let me show you the motors let me shake them about so you can see any wear and tear in the motors after uh, 400 miles of use uh, the motors themselves they got no wobble whatsoever uh, on the gear drives well i'm trying to hold the wheel no wobble whatsoever i know video is not about 3d services um, uh, gear drives but there is absolutely no wobble anywhere i got no warping of the motor cans i mean it was stated before or some uh, guys were saying that the cans warp well mine didn't it works absolutely fine so just to demonstrate let me show you let me spin the motors for you so this is how she behaves at the moment after 450 miles So here we go guys, as you can see I still got no issues with the motors whatsoever. Just to let you know, uh, these motors do read, I think they were 67 amp when you detect the motors on VESC tool, but I run them at 100 amp. Take a look, this is my uh, readings of the uh, VESC setup right now, uh, BioX, by the way, Bio X V2 review is on my channel as well, link is in the description. Uh, really good unit happy so far also if you were wondering you probably noticed i have uh, a hoyt puck on this um, on this board well i'm using uh, testing different things but hoyt puck yes you can wire in the rear uh, brake light into the uh, by x ec which is a uh, based on spin tit unit so have a look guys i do have a video how to do this there's a small trick to how to wire height puck uh, obviously it's a uh, ppm uh, remote and if you want your rear brake light to work just like that without any special uh, stuff going on have a look at the video mate uh, so that's pretty much it guys so running at 100 100 amp uh, per motor uh, no issue the hottest i ever got this motors to go up to was 80 82 degrees celsius but uh, yeah so it's not an issue normally they run about 55 60 degrees and uh well we had a bit of a run with uh, my mate uh, rad and we went off road went through the park and i was pushing the board and uh, we went i think on the golf course as well so when i was going up hills and down and pushing the board i've got the 80 plus uh, degrees on the motors but never really overheated uh, by the way you can um, set up your temperature of the motors uh, a bit higher if you are 
in looking to learn a bit more about uh, VESC tool, especially based on Spintent V2, which will cover the Spintent, the Spintent V1, V2, 75 volt, 100 volt, and also Bio X V1, V2. Yes, I will leave the video on the link in the description below. At the moment, I would say 63 100s, a Flip Sky Morris, the new generation, they are quite good. I, I cannot fault them at the moment, you know? Uh, so, here we go, no issues right now. And by the way, if you are looking to buy a Flip Sky Morris or any other Flip Sky uh, product, uh, use this code right here and you will get yourself, I forgot, either it's 10% uh, off or is it $10 off, I don't remember, but it's a discount. So if you wanna use it, go ahead. If not, it's up to you. Okay guys, sorry, just a quick addition to the video. I just received another comment uh, and a question. So here we go. Uh, comparison between the uh, acceleration between 63100 and 6384. Okay, so about acceleration, obviously everything got to do with the gear ratio. So it depends what gear ratio you're using. So if you want acceleration, you need torque. That means your top speed will drop out, but you have a lot of torque, so acceleration will be stupid. So if you're going for a lower KV mortis, so for the torque, that's why I've chosen the 140 KV for my board, because it's 1.4 gear ratio, 140 kV, for instance, will give you more torque, less top end. However, if I would, would have went for 190, I would have had less torque, but much higher top speed. So it's it's hard question really to answer. So if you would imagine you have the same setup, so for instance, my board, the Bullet, uh, Finality gear drives, 1.4 gear ratio, and I would have chosen, let's say, uh, 80, uh, 6384 motors and then I would have swapped out for uh, 63100. Obviously I will have slightly bit more power on 63100. So longer uh, um, actual uh, windings area, more copper, uh, more, uh, longer magnets, <laughs> more power. I don't know, hopefully that answers your question mate. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. So that's it. So that's the additional uh, comment. That's it for this video, guys. If you got any other ideas for the video, so there's something you want me to cover in my future videos, please let me know in the comments and I will do so. So that's it. Build safely, ride safely, enjoy this beautiful hobby. Uh, the season is here, so I'm trying to, or really hope I will put a few miles on this bullet. Anyway, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.